Throw your arms back and run straight for your Switch because even more games have been announced for the Happy Hybrid. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here. We've got six brand new titles announced for the Nintendo Switch and two titles with updated and clarified release dates. We're going to start off with Bandai Namco bringing even more love to the platform in the form of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy. It's hitting April 26th. First, we thought that was just for Japan, but since Bandai Namco has confirmed that it's in the West as well. Yeah, really cool to see them continuing to support the platform. Uh, maybe one day we get the fighter that we all have been wanting in the form of Dragon Ball Fighters. But in the meantime, I know a ton of people really like this franchise. It did really well when it was released on 360 and PS3, and it's cool that it's coming to Switch now. Yeah, it's been around for a while, at least in, in different iterations. I remember importing one back on the GameCube. But this trilogy contains uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, 2, and 3. It has local multiplayer, it has online multiplayer, and it has most of the DLC. Zach, speaking of multiplayer, a game I'm really excited for now that I saw the trailer is Isla Bama. It is announced for Nintendo Switch. It is an award-winning co-op 2.5D game, and it is coming uh, later in the year. It's like sort of a mini game collection it seems like a really fun party game the trailer like really gets me excited because there's this like large group of people just playing kind of mario party style games uh or also towerfall like games in a 2.5d environment uh there's like a basketball game there's a volleyball type game there's all types of really cool looking things and i'm assuming this is going to become a, a game that costs less than 60 dollars because they haven't really spoke on that quite yet you have up to players six uh locally <laughs> locally i said that weird six players local is what I was trying to say, or play alone and sh or, you know, it's your call. Over 100 levels, teamwork is key, hilarious enemies, collectible items, crazy skins, amazing cutscenes, and sp uh, spectacular boss battles as well. Yeah, over 100 levels, uh, you get to be Torito Rabbit, Danny Turtle, Alex Penguin, and it does have online as well, so you will be able to play this locally uh, or over the interwebs. I, I kind of want to call it Ilabama, Ilabamba, yeah, Lalabamba, Ilabamba. I think it looks good. Uh, that is hitting, like Gabe mentioned, later this year. Next up, we've got Zoids, <laughs> bringing back the toys of yesteryear. There's no specific title yet, uh, but they're revitalizing Zoids as Zoids Wild, and they announced uh, alongside new model kits, anime, manga, and more, there is a game coming for Switch. Not a whole lot of details right now, but this one is hitting sometime in the far-off future. Something with a little bit more details is For the King, coming to Switch in early 2019. So this one is a ways off, but the trailer actually makes it seem kind of cool. It's an RPG with a very unique art style. And again, since it's, you know, almost a year by the time that this game comes out, you're going to want to, you know, maybe forget about it. Don't get too excited. Uh, it is turn-based <laughs> combat, but it, it looks very cool. The animations and the movement is all very beautiful to look at. It's, got some, like, board game feel there. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that it's, like, a full year away now. Yeah, it does have roguelike elements as well. It's got really positive reviews on Steam. This is one of those cases where, like, I see the game. I'm excited for it on Switch, but I kind of want to play it on the other platform. But at the same time, I want to hold off so I can experience it for the first time on Switch. That's, like, a difficult decision always when I see uh, these titles. Another one that you may find that a uh, little bit of a conundrum with is Spin Tires Mud Runner. Um, Focus has announced that the game is hitting Switch. It's currently in development. We don't have a date, um, but a Nintendo Switch version of Spin Tires Mud Runner is currently being worked on. We don't have much more to say about this right now, but it is coming, and we'll have more news in the future. It's the ultimate version of the million seller hit Spin Tires Drive Incredible All Terrain Vehicles venturing across extreme landscapes. It's not just an enhanced edition, it's the ultimate off road experience. And this makes me miss Motorstorm like no other. Speaking of missing things, the creator of Harvest Moon has a new game, and it's called Little Dragon's Cafe, and it is super cute, Zach. This kind of yeah. like reminds me of you. The Little Dragon just has a Zach vibe to him. So that's also uh, coming in 2018, so, you know, much better than 2019. But, you know, with uh, someone who created a much-beloved franchise like Harvest Moon, I feel like Little Dragon's Cafe could be a really good time. Yes, you and your twin sister uh, or twin brother... Uh, work at your mom's cafe and things get weird when the mom enters a deep sleep and you got to raise a dragon so that the dragon can wake your mom up. If that's not a great premise, I don't know what is, but you are going to be a dragon mom or dad, uh, practice dragon husbandry, cooking, restaurant management, 
Okay, this basically sounds like your dream job. Yeah, and I want to apologize because there is no footage. They did make it clear that they've only released a logo and this one little image. We don't know what the game's going to look like. Um, we yeah. just thought that it was still cool that, hey, like the creator of Harvest Moon is having a new game come out. Yes, Axis Games bringing that one our way in 2018. Yes, that takes us to the next game on our list one that neither one of us cares for very much but this one we already knew about but now it has a solid date outlast 2 a game that we have both spoken about so we won't get into too much it's coming to switch outlast one is out like now on switch that you can go play march 27th it's going to be the switch date for outlast 2 you played the original outlast you claim that's a better experience we both think that outlast 2 is a little bit too much the the, the themes there are a little too gross. I personally don't care for them. It takes uh, 9.6 gigs of space on your Switch. I can't recommend this one. I have played it. I have finished it. But I would personally say stay away from this one. I think the, the nice thing here is Nintendo embracing all genres, all ratings, all concepts. Um, and there is definitely an audience that will be picking up both of Red Barrel's titles. Uh, and it's kind of crazy that you can play something of that level of intensity on a Nintendo platform. But so we wrap up on a happy note. Moonlighter is not only coming in May 2018, but also getting a retail release. I feel like this game is going to be super cool. Yes, it did start as a Kickstarter, but 11-Bit Studios is working with Merge Games and Digital Sun Games to bring Moonlighter to store shelves. This game uh, is a, a, a mix-up, a mashup of a lot, but it has roguelite elements, and you're a shopkeeper by day, and then you go loot hunting and dungeon diving at night. I think the concept's very great. The main character reminds me of Gabe if he was a little taller and had grayer hair, <laughs> and I'm actually really excited for this one. Of the entire list, this is the game that I have the most hope on. Yeah, I'm very hopeful about it, too. I'm also decently tall, and my hair is decently gray, so... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Moonlighter is more about Gabe than you thought. Which of these games is about you, though? Or which one do you plan on picking up? Running from the top, we got the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy. I La Bamba, or Is La Bamba, depending on how you want to say that. Zoids Wild for the King in 2019. Spin Tires Mud Runner Little Dragons Cafe, which I do have a soft spot for as well. Outlast 2 later this month, and then Moonlighter in May. It's a pretty solid list as we ramp our way towards Nintendo releases. Kirby on the horizon, Mario Tennis Aces, Hyrule Warriors, and Donkey Kong not that far behind. Let us know your take in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from these games and others that hit the Switch. We'll keep you up to date with everything that is hitting the platform Big releases, small releases, and medium releases. Also, go get yourself a medium-sized hoodie. We still have our first year edition hoodies and tees available for another week, so check those out. Link in the description below. Discord is also open for business. You don't have to wait till Moonlighter uh, to be part of a shop. You can come and uh, hang out with us and everybody else that's talking 24-7. During the day, they run the shop. At night, they hunt monsters. It's a good time, and we hope to see you there. Until then, though, for myself and Gabe, Switch Force, out.